Welcome Virgo to your weekly love reading for March 19th to the 25th of 2018. So we're going to, ooh, have a card that just flipped out. Hmm. Some of you having issues with letting go of a past person. Now, this could be two ways around. Sometimes when the card flips out like that, sometimes uh, I'm just guided to say that this could be issues of the past person or relationship that could be returning to you, or there could be a squabble where you're having a grudge. Um, disputes between you and another person so this is holding on to someone and having a, a deep issue with letting that particular person go all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to keep that card there because i feel like that's important right so we're going to see the virgo the march 19th to the 25th of 2018 So, we have the Ace of Cups. So, here is new love. Now, for instance, if some of you, if there is new love there, right? Um, some of you could still be overwhelmed by the opportunity because it's there. You might want to reach for it, but you're not able to let go of the past. Some of you could still be holding on to a past person, and this opportunity is just dangling here, but you're still reminiscing about a certain person for some. Now, for others of you, this could be you falling back in love with someone from your past that could be some of what's happening so we'll see how this unfolds all right then you do have the fourth wand so there is um celebrations you spending time with others um a significant other you could be moving in with this particular person you could be having plans to move in with this particular person as you move away from someone else so there is uh, friendships unity the love is there um if some of you are still single and you might be around a newer person if you are looking for new love maybe that person is in your midst all right sometimes you might not know sometimes you definitely know um who this person might be could be a water sign pisces scorpio cancer doesn't have to be overwhelmed let's just said that so this is overwhelmed by this love offer by something that's going on a lot of different things that you could be doing um two different situations that some of you may be facing of holding on to the past and dealing with other events socializing you know having a good time but things still on your mind energe energe energetically couldn't even get that out and you may feel like you can't speak to who you really want to speak to or express yourself to who you want to because um you just kind of want to lay things down and get a break in some way the recent past is the high priestess in reverse so you could have been dealing with a um, pisces for some but these are issues where either you were keeping a secret or another person was keeping a secret and they're doing it for different reasons. Now, sometimes these could be negative, sometimes they're positive. We have to clarify what that might be, but someone may have had an arterial motive and not letting you know what's going on. If this is you, you're not letting this new love interest know um, how you might be feeling about them because you're still dealing with some things from your past. All right? And then because of those reasons there are negative influences right right if you're not able to make a decision to be honest to do things how they need to be done not finding closure this holds you back from running into or falling into your destiny so there are some obstacles that might be there right now um there are good things there but i feel like a lot of you um if you say lied to someone if you misled somebody or if they misled you that will of fortune in reverse is almost like the justice card coming out to me which is saying that you know karma is there that things have to be done um step by step so that you can proceed in the right way to uh, move towards this energy all right now the near future the two of swords is in reverse sometimes i feel like these may be issues of being indecisive you know you're here you're there you're dealing with a partner or two romantic partners who's there who's there who's fighting for your attention for you to make a decision for some of you out there that's what i that's the energy that's coming towards you and that's why a lot of you may be feeling overwhelmed because you have uh two different situations and it's 11 33 um those cards i mean those <laughs> those numbers pop out when there are synchronicities and things happening um especially when you're doing a reading if you tune in um and speaking to somebody somebody specific um that might be for some of you out there and i feel like that leads to frustration so it could be with an aries leo or a sagittarius now this is 
your response to that energy. Um, if there's too much communication going on from being overwhelmed by so many different things that you're trying to handle, you're angry about it. You're angry that you place yourself in a situation. You're frustrated by this person. Sometimes this is coming through very aggressive, um, kind of very headstrong, you know, controlling at times, just very outspoken and um, confrontational as well. Sometimes when I see this energy, so, and it could be a lot of uh, sexual frustration, pent up emotions that you may have. Someone that you really want to get close to, there you're not able to just yet. And it could be of your own demise, something that you're doing, or someone else could be blocking that progress. So, um, how others are seeing you, as I was mentioning before, very opinionated. I'm um, expressing yourself a lot, uh, communicating a lot, um, saying certain things, expressing how you might be feeling, ready to go to battle with somebody, having a lot of anger. And then those pent up emotions may be coming out, but not in the right way. You're not channeling them in the right way. So, this is aggression. Now, this is um, maybe you're tapping into an aspect of your. Um, chart so this could be your moon sign or rising sign but an aquarius Libra or gemini um that you could be dealing with or around this could be verbal communication or just constantly at you back and forth with um text phone calls or even social media those kind of things this week your partner what might they be up to they might be very aggressive when it comes to getting to be in a relationship with you or they may be feeling stuck in their particular um, relationship and not able to move on. So anytime I see this card, people feel like it might be good. Now, sometimes this could come through as work and focused on money. Um, but when that does come through to me, it is a fear that you might be having. You got your head down so much. You're working so hard because you feel like the money is going to disappear. The job is going to go away. You're not going to have enough for yourself. So this is materialism. Um, you may be addicted to someone in that way or vice versa that could be happening with you whether it's financially or just feeling stuck we'll see why that's there and five of wands is here conflict so the aggression you know you see how that energy in the in the middle is there so i feel someone if you or the other person is having issues with letting go of the past that could be something that's on their mind and that person's very frustrated and they could be addressing that and asking you to make a decision a choice or something like that and maybe someone from your past is like well they want you to that could be something that's going on for some of you out there so i feel like the five of wands is either the pent up emotions i was talking about about making a choice or literally conflict that could be there and fights and drama and things like that and that could be why the devil was there because there could be issues with the fear of um conflict or someone else leaving someone else and those romantic partners getting into an altercation something like that could be going on so let's clarify um i want to clarify the high priestess in reverse for virgo justice justice the legal system but we just spoke about justice and it came out here so a lot of times when you feel like someone was taking advantage of you or you're taking advantage of someone else justice is coming through things have to be settled before things are to be cleared and to reach this new love um that's how it works um let's see clarify the devil for for your partner if you're dealing with somebody clarify by the devil could be dealing with the capricorn the king of pentacles we just spoke about money all right and this could be them holding on to money holding on to financial resources staying in a relationship because of that support and a lot of times that could be them worried about it or holding on to a relationship because of that reason um and your partner may be a capricorn virgo or taurus as i've mentioned and they just have this energy where they are stressed and worried about you and want to be with you but you may not be ready to let go of the past will be with them just yet because you're still dealing with another person all right and um clear the five of wands for virgo clear the five of wands for virgo and we do have the world the world is usually where there's conflict over closing a chapter in your life and either fighting for that person to stay someone is fighting for you to stay something is going on there are some issues with that release i feel but some of you, you might be kind of out and about traveling and doing something and then 
going to a certain event or something like that and something transpires that you know there could be some kind of conflict on the road um but this is the road to success almost um that's what i said all right let me see road to love let's see messages for a virgo for march 19th to the 25th virgo. hold on passion it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy now someone may be too passionately um in pursuit of you and that could be something that's uh, a bit too much but this card does say to be optimistic you know be happy about this opportunity that is there enjoy the energies that are around you all right and maybe someone that you are intimately involved in with messages for Virgo for march 19th to 25th in wedding this situation involves marriage there could be a proposal someone is already committed in a relationship or marriage and they're trying to move away from it but that could be some of the issues going through a divorce and having conflict with the legal system or that legal situation a pending divorce and still waiting for that to go away that could be some of what's going on for many of you out there all right so we we did mention how the i believe that's not if i'm not mistaken the sign of Aries to activate your eighth house. All right, your eighth house is activated, Virgo. Um, the sun being in Pisces, if you know about astrology, that did activate your activate your seventh house of relationships, your contracts, and dealing with what you need to rearrange when it comes to different one on one relationships. How you deal with your committed relationships? Is it working? Is it not? Should I move on? Should I let go? If I need to let go, dealing with that contract through the legal system or not? And then we move into the sun being in Aries on the 21st. That does activate that eighth house of death transformation. And I feel like a lot of you still dealing with the legal system, legal documents, issues and things like that. So there could be a lot of conflict going on internally as you make these changes and start to shift. Because after you get that, after you get that seventh house, which is about waiting to assess, then you try to move on away from the situation with the number eight. So think about that in that way with numerology and astrology so i thought this week i would add that in there all right do something a bit different so those are your messages for the week i do hope that they did help you out lots of love to you lots of light tons of healing vibes i wish you the very best and make sure that if you would like a private or personal reading that you go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you have a good one